So Sonic Superstars has been out for a few days now, and since I'm Hatstack Mike and a Hatstack Sonic fanatic, I've been playing it quite a bit. And so I wanted to get a video together and share my thoughts. I'll say right off the bat, this isn't the next Sonic Mania and doesn't quite hit the heights of that game. But Sonic Superstars is still really good. I'll start off with some positives. They absolutely nailed the gameplay. It just feels just right, the running, jumping, physics and all that. It really controls like a Sonic game should. Sonic has his drop dash from Mania, Tails and Knuckles both have their signature moves, and Amy has a double jump in her hammer smash drop dash thing from Origins, and she's pretty fun. And you know what else is really good? The level design. I really like playing through these levels. Lots of loops and slopes and some really good platforming sections. When it comes to platformers, the two most important things to me are the gameplay and the level design, and fortunately in Sonic Superstars they nailed these. And that makes me happy. One cool new thing in Sonic Superstars are the Emerald abilities, which are pretty cool. Use the Avatar ability to create clones of yourself and send attacks, which are actually really helpful in the bosses if you get stuck, by the way. And the Bullet ability is actually really fun to just kind of burst through stuff. I like that one a lot. I'll be honest and say most of my playtime I wasn't really thinking about them, so I didn't use them a whole lot, but they're cool to have. Also worth noting is, as of this recording, I have not yet gotten all of the Chaos Emeralds, so I haven't tried out all of the Emerald abilities yet, because those special stages get super annoying, but I'll keep trying, and I'm sure I'll get to try them out someday. As for the story, well, there's not really much there, but that's okay, I didn't come into this expecting a whole lot in that aspect. As a major Sonic Triple Trouble fan, I will say that it is awesome to see Fang back, and I'm also a huge fan of the new character, Trip. I won't say anything else about her in this video, but I'll just leave it at that. Graphically, the game looks pretty nice. It's not going to push any boundaries here, but I like the art style. It's bright and colorful and very vibrant, which I really like. The zones all look, for lack of a better word, very Sonic-y, and just have that real visual distinction of like, oh yeah, this is a Sonic level. I've spent a significant amount of time with this on both an Xbox Series S and a Switch, because I'm bad with money. And obviously it looks better on the higher powered systems, but it still performs pretty well on the Switch. So it's not too much of a visual downgrade unlike some other games out there like Mortal Kombat 1. But yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this topic, just simple yet aesthetically pleasing graphics in my opinion. As for the music, the music in Sonic Superstars is mostly pretty good, but then there's some really bad tracks in there. There were a number of different composers who did songs for this game, and let's just say some of them did a better job than others. T. Lopes from the Mania soundtrack is back and anything he did is great. Oh, I love the stuff he did in this game. Some of my favorite tracks from the game are Bridge Island Zone, Sand Sanctuary Zone, and then probably my favorite, Pinball Carnival Zone, both Acts 1 and 2 are just great. But then on the other side you have the boss music, that terrible, terrible boss music. Both Act 1 and 2 bosses. Ugh, you're jamming out to these awesome songs during the level and then you get to the boss and it's just shit. Oh, it just sounds like shit. I cannot stress enough how much I hate the boss music in this game. Otherwise, pretty much everything that sounds retro, like it's trying to be a Genesis song, is just bad. They do not do a good job at, quote, classic songs. And yet, yeah, if you're familiar with the soundtrack to Sonic 4, it, it's the same thing. Possibly worse in some cases, like that boss music. I am just gonna harp on that boss music, I hate it so much. Overall, the soundtrack is still really good though, like... It has more highs than lows, and most of the level music is actually really catchy. Alright, now I'm going to talk about my least favorite part about this game, which are the boss battles. Holy crap, they drag on forever. Even the ones that are conceptually pretty cool just outstay their welcome, and ugh. Like, most of them just consist of waiting around and watching animations and avoiding things, and then having a very small window of time where you can actually hit them. And by the time you get a few hits in, you're just so ready for it to be done because it's just going and going. And again, some of them are conceptually cool. The boss of Lagoon City is actually pretty fun in concept. You're stuck underwater and have to traverse up and get bubbles for air and stuff, and that's cool, but then it just drags on and it's not fun anymore, and ugh. Also worth mentioning is that I did try out that battle mode a little bit, and it was okay, kinda lame. I don't think it's something I'm going to go back to a whole lot, so... Eh, it's worth trying out, but please don't buy this game just for that. All the customization options seem pretty cool, though. Maybe I'll like it more when I get all the parts to make a Metal Sonic avatar, I don't know. So yeah, that about sums up my thoughts on Sonic Superstars after a few days of consecutively playing. It's a really good game, and I can definitely give this my hat, stack, and seal of approval. I've beaten the game, and I'm working on getting all the rest of the emeralds and I'm playing through the extra campaign that unlocks after you beat the game. So I still have more to do here. 
and I'm looking forward to it. For Sonic fans, I can absolutely recommend getting this. With that being said, it is $60 and it's a bit on the shorter side, so I wouldn't blame people for waiting for a sale either. And yeah, it has its flaws like the boss battles and some of the music, but the good far outweighs the bad in this game. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a hat stack and good day.